In 1983, a movie called Return of the Jedi found its place in movie theaters. A young boy I once knew, and his even younger brother, enjoyed putting themselves in moments from that movie. For some reason, the two brothers would throw themselves into a nearby oak tree. Other children would visit that great oak too. Many would crash their bicycles into the great oak. The tree did not mind, for it was mighty. Also, the tree loved to hear the children's laughter. The brothers liked that others loved the tree too. They all called it the Return of the Jedi Tree. The tree became legend. One year, a bolt of lightning hit the great oak, and in 1993, it fell in a storm. The great oak lay for many years, its glory forgotten, until the memories returned to one of the brothers. It was rotting, but it was still strong, still heavy. The boy decided to slow its decay and get it up off the ground. He was small like the mink, but he had will. You can look away if you want to. I do not know what this is. His mind was full already, with other things and other responsibilities others had given him that should not be his. He was not able to think out his plan. His mind was not relaxed. He was cold, tired, and had not eaten. His body was older now, and he did not take good care of his chest. His chest was where his light was kept. He had already broke his promise to himself to not be old. He was no longer like the new rubber band. He was more like the bear. He was angered quickly. I should have taught him to clear his mind before I left. But it was too late. I had moved on to another world and could only check in on him. I could not advise him anymore. I did not care for his goal. I thought Return of the Jedi was a silly thing. But I wanted to see him move that tree. To carry through. Because as a boy, he always gave up too easily. He became what people call flaky. He would be no good for others because he was not good for himself. Even play felt like work to him. He needed to rest his mind. Everything he tried to move that tree worked. And then suddenly, everything he tried to move that tree would not work. And as I suspected, he became angry. Not the anger that brings passionate and good results, but anger like the bear. Like the bear, he threw his hands up, thinking he failed to preserve the return of the Jedi tree. He walked away and accomplished nothing. Much time had gone by since he tried to move that tree. Instead of chasing demons away, he chased them with other demons. There was a nagging on his mind from himself, a list of things he had not accomplished. His comic books and toys had become obstacles to him. More things in his way, more things to worry about. This is all your fault! Things he could watch as time took its toll on them, like everything else he knew. He accepted things did not last long, but it seemed like many things were going away too fast to keep up with. No time for goodbye. At some point after this, he disappeared.